Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So I'm rather excited for this one. This is Good Sunday, let's get into it. So I'm rather excited for this one because I really like drawing mermaids. So as usual, I'm using my Montmartre graphite pencils and today we're drawing Morgana as a mermaid, just like we did with Ursula as a mermaid. So I've just drawn the line of action and because Morgana's face is very detailed, I know that is going to be the part I struggle with the most. So I just want to get the blocking in of the pose and the different proportions correct. So Ariel used to be the mermaid that I drew the most with like her fringe and her tail and flounder. I used to also watch the Disney videos a lot because I do have them on VHS. So I used to watch it a lot and I used to draw her a lot. So I get excited every time I draw mermaids because it just makes me remember what it was like to sit in front of the TV with the little mermaid playing drawing. And I did mess up the proportions the first time, so I'm just marking out the proportions. So I am drawing in the tail. Shape of the tail is important. And obviously, Melody has this. I don't even know what it's called. Is it a vest? Is it pajamas? Is it. I don't know what it is. But that top thing that she wears, that she is portrayed in the most, I'm putting Morgana in that because that is what Melody wears when she's a mermaid. And then I'm just drawing the arms. I did have a lot of fun with this gift Sunday. It's also, I think, one of the shortest sketch Sundays. I do think it's one of the shortest sketch Sunday videos. Given this is only like the third sketch Sunday, so I don't actually know. But feel it. I feel it in my fingers and I feel it in my flippers that this is one of the shortest. So Morgana's face is a bit tricky, like I've never drawn Morgana before, the same like I've never drawn Melody before, but I have drawn mermaids, lots and lots of mermaids. I am drawing in Morgana's one hand with her red nails. I would like to know how she keeps nail polish on her nails. It's gotta be some of Ursula's magic. I also do feel I'm getting a bit more comfortable with voiceovers and talking a lot and not worrying so much. But I still worry. So 
and I'm just drawing in the general shape of the face. The proportions are a bit weird. I haven't ever had to draw somebody with such a long face. Or should I rather say, I've never intentionally drawn someone with a long face. Usually, I draw, and then I look back and I'm like, ooh, you got a long face. This time I was trying, and it was difficult. And these proportions were just a bit out there for me. So I did sort of abandon it for a while, just finished the tail. So I always thought that Melody's tail and Ariel's tail were the same, that, that you would draw them the same, but clearly not. <laughs> Melody's tail doesn't come to the same, like the fleshy bit of Melody's tail doesn't come to the same point as Ariel's tail, it just like slices off. So I assume as you grow it gets pointier, I would hope because it's just more aesthetically pleasing to have like a tail shaped like Ariel's than one like Melody's but that's just me anyway so I go back to drawing bits of the face I do start with the hair because Morgana's hair is just cool Morgana's hair is fuller than Ursula's it's longer than Ursula's it's just I don't understand how Ursula was the favorite. I don't. But then again, she is Ursula's crazy sister. So now I'm just drawing in the features of the face. And if you've enjoyed this process so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So drawing in Ursula's mouth was easier than drawing in Morgana's mouth. Like her facial proportions just threw me off a bit, so I did spend quite a bit of time trying to get the face to look like her face and not to look like a knockoff version of her face. Like I wanted it to look like her. So I just spent quite a while trying to perfect her face. And there's a lot of erasing, a lot of corrections, a lot of minor corrections also. Like for example, the center of her mouth isn't a normal curve like you would do in even in this angle of a face, it's not the normal curve you would do and it's also not pointing in the middle of her top lip it like curves but it's a different type of curve it's not the normal curve But I do eventually get to a point where I'm happy with the proportions. Like it's not my best attempt. No, that's a lie. It is my best attempt. And I'm happy with them because I did them. I spent time adjusting, readjusting and perfecting it. And then I do also add in the section where the tail ends and the t-shirt thing starts. I do draw the top bit of Morgana's 
octopus outfit just so that I can keep the proportions correct And I'm just darkening the line art. And obviously I'm doing the grey of Bogana's hair first. Because she does have grey, greyish purple. She does have greyish purple in her hair. And her hair is kind of like white. So I do do the lighter sections first. Like not the lightest sections, but the greyish purple streaks that she has in her hair. As well as the fin. I'm just making like the lines of the fin but lighter with my gel pen which didn't work so well And then I'm drawing in the outline of the tail and shading in the top curve out bit, by the way. That's also see through, I like the fin. And then I'm shading in the tail, and I do choose a darker pencil. And I don't know, I was always like really fast at drawing mermaids. And then I'm just adding in highlights by erasing like certain lines on the tail. And then doing the outline of the top. And then one thing that's different from this one and the one of Ursula is I don't put scales on the tail, like at all, not even like post recording. And I don't know how I feel about that. I do still like it. I don't know if putting scales on would add to it or take away from it, but I like it the way it is. And then just doing the rest of the line art of the arms. And shading in the top. Making the tail a bit darker. And if you like the process so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Adding in light shading to Morgana's skin.
and constantly adding and removing from the skin to get a constant tone across the skin and finally bringing back my page because we all know how I smudge graphite around and now to do Morgana's face So I'm doing some of the line art first and as you can see I am swapping pencils quite a bit to go to different darknesses and doing the outlines once I figured out her face wasn't that bad. Adding in the shading of her eyeshadow. As well as her eyebrows. And then just adding in the skin zone shading. And that's the final piece. Thank you for joining me for another Sketch Sunday. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye!